Okay, design of the auger. Uh, that's a feeding column. That's a traveling space. And over here, it's falling down by gravity into the stove. Uh, one side, I have huge uh, three quarter inch bearing, uh, which takes all the stresses of the gear reduction over here. Uh, the motor is totally separate with two screws and one uh, connector over here. Uh, the angle transmission it out of the uh, grinder, so uh, it's only turning in one direction and how uh, to uh, reassemble all the stuff, you just turn it counterclockwise and actually the chain is out, the gear is uh, the head of the grinder which is screwing and the motor is turning uh, counterclockwise so it's always trying to tight. Uh, have a a real bearing on this side because it's may uh, even if I'm gonna put the bearing over here it may uh, get uh, heat stress over here so I did uh, choose to go with a uh, friction bearing that I did made it uh, did made myself out of uh, bronze I believe it's bronze or copper whatever so there is no uh, metal on metal it's metal on soft uh, uh, bronze so uh, to check if it's in good shape or bad shape you just unscrew the bolt push the bracket out open it up and here we go that's my copper washer, that's my brass, feet, the brass fitting, and it's actually, uh, the auger is fit on this, and it's turning on the washer, and it's not rubbing on the, on the metal nut, it's rubbing actually on the, uh, on the copper. Uh, soon as it's gonna uh, wear out, you just open the bolt, put the new piece of washer over here, Put this one back. You don't have to empty the hopper. You don't have to disassemble anything. Just push it back. Close it like this. Tie the knot. And that's it. It's assembled. Uh, I'm going to show you how it looks from upstairs, uh, upside. So it's, you open the nut, you taking this out, you taking this and it looks like this inside. It's a regular uh, half inch pipe with a well done to it. Uh, looks like a spring that's turning around. Uh, For this purchase, I'm gonna take those two bolts out and everything gonna slide away. So, guys, hold on. So that's it for my, uh, that's a huge bearing I have over here. I do have some kind of dust inside, but it's not a big deal. So actually, it's a piece of pipe, piece of rod, weld into it. It's a piece of, uh, I believe, stainless steel. Uh, I don't remember, that uh, was... I have to find uh, whatever it was, I think. Right. The whole assembly looks like it's a piece of 2-inch pipe 
uh, little square hole uh, half of the pipe uh, two and a half inches away another opening it looks like half way through and just cut and the pieces of square uh, tubing went uh, weld onto it and it's if you can see on the side it's gonna uh, fall down and it's gonna go into the stove uh, so the only force that I'm using it's when I'm pushing from this point to this point it's only about two and a half or three inches so uh, no really force needed to push the pellets and it's pretty easy to uh, reassemble it you just slide like this put two nuts on each side Another one over here. You take this homemade bearing, push it inside. Push it back and screw to hold it in place. And you can use the wrench just to tie it a little bit chain 